Hi, welcome to Divine Mock Test channel, our YouTube channels or YouTube uh, videos will take you through whatever you need to know before arriving at um, the centers, test, drive test centers that we cover. Um, we are currently at the Etobicoke drive test location where we will be taking you through the route that they use for their G2. And I will suggest or advise that you go through, you, 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 you watch this through uh, this video thoroughly before arriving for your G2 test. At the Etobicoke test location, para parking are carried out in between cones. And uh, the purpose for this video is not to teach how to para park or how to three point turn or how to reverse park, but to show you the route. If you need any help, you can contact us so that we prepare you thoroughly before the test and we can be reached at 647 289 6514 so once you arrive at the center make sure you pick a spot pick the pick the number of the spot and go in 30 minutes before the test 30 minutes prior to the test go sign in and then come and wait in your car come and wait in your car an examiner will definitely show up and then we'll be taking you through the test. Once everything is done, they're going to check your light. Make sure you come with a car that is in good condition. The windscreen shouldn't, the windshield shouldn't um, uh, have any defects. There shouldn't be any crack in the windshield. Um, your light, the brake lights should be working. The signals should be working. And your horn should be working. They will conduct a circle check. They call it a circle check. They will go ar around the car, make sure everything is in, 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 in order, including the, the, the wheels. So make sure you come with a car in good condition. And after everything is said and done, they're going to ask you to turn right. So I am currently taking right. And signal your intention. Look around. Watch out for pedestrians. And take a right and then we take a left here and this is the apparel parking zone you see two cones here they will ask you to park parallel park in between them and then after parallel parking they're gonna ask you to proceed when safe and take a left so we are taking a left here and there is a white line on the ground this white line represents a stop sign. Make sure you come to a complete stop, not a rolling stop. So I look around, watch out for other vehicles, and go. And we are turning right. Onto the road. And watch out, creep up slowly, make sure it is safe before you join the road. And then once you make a right to right, they're going to ask you to change lane to the left. So change lane to the left and the speed on this road is 60. And this is Eglinton Avenue, Eglinton Avenue. Eglinton Avenue West. The speed limit here is 60. At the next light, we are going to be turning left. So I signal, check my blind spot, make sure it is safe. Then I change lane into the left turn lane. And then, since I am the one in front of the queue, I roll in. You should drive into the intersection and wait. So once it is safe, you make your left to the left. And the right lane is ending, so you don't change lane. 
and then at the stop sign they will ask you to turn right so signal there are dotted lines and bike lanes watch out for them so I turn right here and the name of the road is Sky Mark Sky Mark turn right onto Sky Mark and it is 50 default speed limit in the neighborhood around Etobicoke here is 50 unless otherwise posted so on Sky Mark they will ask you to pull over for a 3.10 turn. so signal and pull over at a safe place into the bike lane and they will ask you to make a 3.10 turn. so I signal and then make sure it is a 3.10 turn. the road is wide enough for U10 but never U10 make sure it is done in three successions you roll back and then the last and make sure you're looking around and signaling your intentions and then you go so 3.10 on skymark road and the speed don't forget is 60 is 50 in the neighborhood and at the upcoming stop sign we are turning right So, we are turning right onto Obita Drive. It's all way first come, first serve. So, we're turning right onto Obita Drive. And it is 50. And at the traffic light coming up, we're turning left. So, I signal check my blind spot. And we are turning left onto Matheson Boulevard East. Matheson Boulevard East. And it is green. Okay, this guy is supposed to be going. I think he's on the phone. So, you turn left onto Matheson. And the speed on, on Matheson is 60. But then for the construction, at every construction zone, make sure you drive safely, slow down at the construction site. We are turning left at the traffic light, satellite drive. Satellite drive. Satellite drive. It is green, no car is coming. So turning left onto satellite drive. And watch out for the bike lanes. Don't drive in the bike lanes. And satellite drive is 50. And at the light, Turning right onto Eglinton Avenue. It is green, so it is green for us to go. If it is red, you come to a complete stop. You are allowed to make a right in the red after coming to a complete stop. So it is green. I don't stop. I turn right to right. And then they're going to ask you to change lane to left. So change lane to left and the speed on Eglinton is 60. And then at the next slide, they're going to tell you to turn left. So I change lane to the left turn lane onto Spectrum Way. Spectrum Way. There you go. 
So we are turning left onto Spectrum Way. And then right after, they're going to ask you to all again turn left onto the plaza. So I roll in because cars are coming. Until it is safe to do so. So I turn safely onto Spectrum Way. And again, make a quick left turn onto the plaza. And make sure you turn right into your lane. Do not turn into the middle of the road. And whilst at the plaza, take it easy. And because Pearl parking is mandatory here, you will be asked to head in. So they ask you to turn right, you turn right, and then ask you to turn, park, head into the one of the parkings on the left or right. So we are back to the center. So that is all for Etobico G2 route. Again, if you need any help, feel free to call us on 647-289-6514. I wish you all the best. Like my page, give us a thumbs up, and comment at the comment section. Thank you very much, and all the best. Bye.